Hey, what's up, guys? So I got some packages here from Evic. This box here was, I think, $270. And then this is a $20 um, item that was has been out of stock. And so I pre-ordered. It was my first time pre-ordering also from Evic and everything was super smooth. The rest of my items came ahead of time. Wow, check that out. E PTS BPM mag with the dummy rounds. That is cool, man. There's your orange follower inside there so it winds um when it's full and i should you should see it appear in this little window this is all rubber on the, just this just the center section is rubber the rest is a nice strong polymer not a cheap plastic like a ten dollar mag this is a twenty dollar mag by the way and they're never in stock anywhere i've seen the tan ones in stock but not the black ones um if you get the opportunity, you have to pre-order them. Like I said, Evic super smooth, man. All right, now this just came. I have a few boxes that I'm gonna open. Um, I'm gonna just stop this video and then do another one. But this just came. I have a couple boxes that have been sitting here for a while. So these, this box is like items that have been out of stock. Um, or something cool and new. Like, check this out. Oh, my God. Look. Oh, it's so dope. This is a GNG ARP9 mag with the dummy rounds inside. And with the exception of this, which I think I can make it look better. If you really wanted to, you could make this look better. Um, meaning, they're all connected. And you can plainly see that they're all connected. So, you know, it would be cooler if those areas were black. But nonetheless, I wish I would have gotten two of them. I'm so stupid. These things will be out of stock. If you guys can find them, I'd buy them. Oh, wow. Got some... My shims, finally. Got some shims. These should be... Man, I don't like how small the hole is. Look at this. None of these shims have a larger radius. I need 8 millimeter shims. These look so tiny. These are too tiny, man. They're supposed to be 0 0.1 and 0 0.2s, but they're supposed to have the radius of 8 millimeters, which that is not. Whatever. Uh, maple leaf, 70%. I don't like how the maple leaf ring is jammed in around the lip like that. That's ghetto. Yeah, that's not good. See how it, it's pinching the, I mean, I doubt it's doing any damage. But it could. I mean, look, it's it's biting the the gasket. And it feels really rough. A lot harder than I remember. Um, and with that said, I would go with a 60 instead of a 70. Um, I think a 60 would be good for all around, indoor, outdoor temperatures. Now, this thing in my hand... Looks like an MP5 mag, and I thought it was a speed loader. But look, it's just a dummy piece of plastic that you put BBs in. What? It feels like a, a baby toy for the bathtub. Or, if you know what I mean, <laughs> it should be in a bowl of fake fruit or something. That's how cheesy and cheap it is. So anyway... So, 
I thought this was a speed loader. It's not speed carrier. Carrier. Uh, here's another hop up rubber for a uh, AG. These are only five bucks. The G and G greens, everybody knows, are decent um, rubber. So you know, these are things I've been waiting for. Oh my God, they're heavy. So I thought these were like cheap generic plastic, dude. I'm so upset I didn't buy more of these. They look so good. BD thirty four hundred. Like, these could be used as actual 5.56 five, rounds. Or 2.23 rounds. These are all metal. The clips are even metal. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. Oh, I wish I would have bought more. These were 20 bucks a piece, though, man. $20 for 12 and your only other option is you can buy like a uh, hundred of them for like crazy two fifty, three hundred dollars, something like that. I'm so happy. I thought these were just cheap, cheesy plastic. Evic, the pictures do not do these justice. I'm telling you. <gasps> Am I missing one? Okay, no, I'm not. All right, I should just take one out of the plastic, right? Oh, did I bump you? Yeah, man, these things are always out of stock. And, like, I've seen, like, the uh, there was another model, which I'm glad I didn't get. Um, that were really cheesy looking and they were cheaper a little bit cheaper not much I'm so glad I got these these are so money yo these are the dopest dummy rounds I've ever seen I'm not joking they look so good I'm so excited oh my god these are all metal dude no plastic here at all they don't even say that on Evic that they're made of metal. I got I'm telling you, these would not have been in stock had the pictures on Evic looked this good. Or had they put in a description that these were metal dummy rounds with the metal um belt. I could have sworn this was plastic. It looks so plastic in the picture. But oh look at that. That sucks. It's bent. Like, if I try to unbend this, it'll probably break. This one's not. Look. Look how nice this one looks. It's opened. And this one is squashed. See, little things like that irritate me, man. It's squashed. Alright, so I'm going to have to form that back out. It's really tough, though. I'm going to have to use uh, needle noses or something. I'm not going to let it upset me. But I want to connect these two, so I need to figure that situation out, you know? Or I avoid that side somehow. No, see, you need both sides, man. Because I'm going to have to clip this to this. So that it's... Look how long it is together. And these are for, I, okay, I'm going to title the video, it's not posted yet, but it's the heaviest, longest gun I could find in stock on Evic. And, and the gun itself weighs like 24 pounds. Well, the package weighs 24 pounds, but all that's in there is the gun. I don't know what this is about. They gave me a free speed loader. They only gave me, what's this? Some weird bonus? Evic, you decide to take me a little bonus there? If you watch this, Garrett, take me some bonuses to stuff. That's a good idea. So what are these, guys? 
These are the long out of stock. When I say long, I mean over two years. Two years waiting for these mags. And I don't even know if they're going to work. I have two guns they could possibly work for. So, you know, either one will be fine. I know they're not going to work for both, even though they're both Western Arms guns, pretty much. They're different. You know, I don't care. There's something little like this. I like this. This is cool, man, because I have... You need them for these. You, there's no way to load one of these mags without a speed loader. And my other mags, I've had to modify by cutting a hole. Wow, look at this thing. It's like steel. Holy shazam. Oh, I don't have my magnet. This is a $60 magazine, guys. Oh, look at that nice valve. Oh, this lip looks way too big. Way too big. I mean, just all around. This is... A, look, it's all, like, sheet metal or steel wrapped. Like, this isn't paint or some kind of finish. This is literally the sheet metal finish. And I love that. That looks so good. 60 bucks, though. It's a 40-round mag. Oh, okay. So, it comes with this loading tube included. So, they give you this. But, see, there's no, like, there's no hole in the shape of a BB so that this goes on top and zips it through. I don't know how. Oh, okay. Well, that's weird. The follower is shaped really funny on this guy. I don't know if we can... If you can see that. It's like rises above the feed lip. You see it? I can see that breaking really easy. There's a one piece top. This is a new gen mag. This is not the old Western Arms mags. I have those here. We'll, we'll take a look at them. See the difference. So not only did these come back in stock, but they used to be $39.99. Now they're $55. So just three gas mags for a gas gun was $170. I'm just realizing that. You could get a whole gun for that, an AG for that. Hey, what are you boys doing? So, these mags come with a, uh, this doesn't look like any quick disconnect valve I've ever seen. It looks very, very different. Alright, well. This, I mean, oh, good. These need gas. They would come leaking if they didn't. That's important to know. If you have these Western Arms mags, they leak like a sieve. Let's say you go to gas it up and it's just pouring out everywhere. It'll pour out this little screw. Air might seem to come out of this area. It'll come out here. It'll come out back here. If you think you can just take this top off and tighten this valve up from in here, you're wrong. And you can't reach it from there. Don't try. You'll break this. You oil every part of this with your thick silicon oil. Not your spray, but your stuff in your, your, your thicker, like, five weight. Every, you want to put it on the screw holes. I'm telling you, it sounds stupid and crazy. You, you soak the inside valve. This right here has nothing to do with leaking air. That's the mistake people make. When, they, when air starts leaking out of this top seal, they automatically assume this top seal is bad. It's not. It has to do with this valve. The valve O-ring, which sits about right here. And then the area beyond that there, and about a little square like this, that's where your air from inside the mag goes into this little chamber. Hammer hits the valve, opens this little chamber up, because that valve is sealed in there with an O-ring. So when it's closed, no air should leak out. And if it does, it's this. It's never this. 
but it they'll you'll hear air leak out of these if you don't keep air in them. So once you do that good oil job, you might even unscrew this valve and squirt some oil down inside that sucker. <clears throat> and I mean, it will leak out the access if you overdo it. It will. You're gonna want to let this mag after you oil it sit like this. Maybe let's say you want this valve to you want the O rings in here to swell. After a day or two, flip it like this. Make sure you keep adding air to it that first day. It will stop. You'll be amazed. It's going to stop. You'll think there's no possible way. Just oiling this thing is going to stop all these leaks. And it will. You'll just it, All that excess oil will leak everywhere. And then your mag will just need air in it constantly. Don't let these air out or they will leak. Hopefully that little tip will help some of you guys. Because I've damaged a mag or two in my day thinking I needed to take this apart and fix something. And I'm telling you what, you strike that pin right there and you're in a whole lot of trouble. You're never fixing this mag. Don't mess with that pin right there. And then here, that's the last thing here. That This is the last, uh, same, 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 same. Same, same, but not same. But same, same. We'll at least check it. Oh, that sucks. Another valve. I mean, let me know in the comments. Is this... Does this not look weird? Does this look like a quick disconnect? Please, let me know. I mean, it doesn't look like my, the, the quick disconnects I have. It looks more like... Like, kind of like the connection on my one of my airbrushes. Except for it would have a thread right here. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we didn't even take a look at the, um, the reset, the hammer valve reset. So, this is what really separates these mags apart from each other, man. Is that this this right here seems too low to work. Look how much lower. Look how much lower that is sitting than this little round one. When they're too short, typically what happens is you pull the trigger once and this doesn't reset. It stays open and all your gas busts out the the uh the bolt, you know, the chamber. This will work in the one that I hope these would work in. I can tell this will work. If it was a sharper point, I'd say it might work in my the rare gun, the gun that, that I can't find any mags for. That I, I, I took a shot in the dark of paying 60 bucks for this because it was in stock when these were 55, but it's looking like these might not work. In my gun, this reset should be higher. It should sit like this. This is what they call the Gen 2 GNP mags. Um, so, let me see. These were made by... Okay, these are Golden Eagle. These were 55. They came with that little valve. It doesn't look like my Russian valve. And then the... Uh, this is a King Arms mag. So 60, 55. And I just got this box three day shipping. I use free three day. If you spend over like 150 or maybe no, if you spend over 250, you can get free three day shipping. So, you know, you know, there's no, they, none of the other codes are working anymore. So this box sat here for two weeks. So I didn't really need to use free three day. I probably shouldn't have been so greedy and used it anyway. Um, so yeah. All right. Thanks guys. That's everything in this box here. So, um, yeah, stay tuned because, uh, I got a lot more coming. I got a big Ace Tech video. Got another, uh, unboxing here to do right after this one. Take it easy guys. Peace.